morning and welcome to Trinity Lutheran Church Sunday School. All year we've been talking about the millions of blessings that God has put into our life. Today we're going to talk about a small one called love. When I said small one, I meant that kind of silly like because love is huge and surrounds us it's God's love that gives us all of these blessings Wow! and there is love surrounding us almost every day um, whether it is the love from our moms and our dads or the love that we give our siblings or the love of our our pet why we take such great care of them um, there is love surrounding us all day every day what a blessing all right if you're in the yellow sparks bible you need to turn to page 546 and if you're in the brown big kid sparks bible you need to turn to page 1271 the title of our story is love is now you might have heard of this one love is patient love is kind Hear that one at weddings all the time when people pledge their lives together wow uh, so let's see if this is the same one you've heard about so Paul's friends in Corinth had lots of good ideas Corinth that was just the neighboring town so we could say Paul's friends in Menominee had lots of good ideas hmm, okay but he's talking about a different city called Corinth but sometimes they forgot what was most important, love. Ooh, Paul said it was most important. It's a big deal. All right. Paul wanted to help them remember. So Paul said, if I use words that everyone understands, but I don't have love, eh, I'm just a clanging bell or a booming drum making noise. If I teach people about God, know what will happen tomorrow, know everything there is to know, and can figure out the mystery of the mysteries of the world, but I don't know about love, none of the other things I know will matter. If I sell everything I have and give the money to the poor, but I don't have love, then I have nothing, nothing at all. Sounds like he's serious that love is super important. Love is easygoing and kind. It never wants what it can't have. It doesn't brag. It's not rude. It's not selfish. It doesn't get angry and it always forgives. Love is happy with the truth. Love always protects, trusts, and hopes. Love doesn't give up and it never fails. All the things we know and all the things we will go or that we have will go away someday but God's love will never go away every day that we grow older we learn more and more and today we only know a tiny little bit about God's love but someday we'll know all there is to know about it hmm. Paul ended his letter by telling the people in Corinth that love is the most important thing they have. Paul said, until the time you know everything about God's love, you have three things to remember. Faith, hope, and love. The most important of these three things is love. Wow. All right. So there's probably a reason why we hear that so often at weddings when, when people are pledging their uh, to commit their lives together um, and, and share their love with one another for the rest of their lives. Wow, it's a, it's a big deal. But there are other times when love comes into our life, um, whether it's just blessing mom and dad by not complaining, just doing what was asked of you, or, I mean, all of those times that we're blessed to be a blessing. We're showing love to other people. It's, it's a big deal. And you 
are fully capable. Good news. So I need you to get a pink sheet of paper. Actually, it could be white. It could be any color you want. And draw a heart, a big heart on it. So that when you cut it out, you have a lovely heart. And then on a, a piece of reading material that mom and dad have said is okay for you to cut up, whether it's the Walmart ads or, or the catalog from such and such or even a magazine, and just cut out everything that you find that is red or pink. And you're gonna fill up your heart right here um, representing love. Maybe not things that you necessarily love, but somebody out there in the world loves. And they're all gonna be red or pink, it's so pretty. Take a few minutes to glue them on. Stick, stick, stick. Ooh, look at that bulldog. All right. Faith, hope, and love. All right, we've already written love on our blessing blossom. Uh, again, a great blessing on our lives that God has given us. Um, so please share some today. Oh, oh, oh. I woke up from my nap, which means it must be time for only one thing. It's time for a TLC sing along. And we're going to sing about Jesus' love as we sing Jesus Loves Me Rock. Join on it. Probably true. I'm happy. You like 
gonna be like, I had something to play in. I, I just have to. <laughs> She's gonna play it. She's gonna play it. I went like this, and there's nothing. I think my arm malfunctioned. I will let the cord hang on forever.